Hey guys, what's up? DB here. Just wanted to uh, come at you. i uh, gotten a lot of uh, requests from various different people. And guys, I said it before, I'll say it again. You guys are my subscribers. What you want, you shall get. So today, we're going to have a three-way battle. Okay? And there's only going to be one winner. So stay right there. It's DB. And I'm going to take you. Behind the nonsense. So guys, today we are going to be talking about the ever so popular, Time. ever so uh, uh, not available anymore, so scarce um, Andy Warhol by Bond number nine. Now I've personally... Uh, smelled Andy Warhol. I had a decant of it a long time ago. I sprayed it one freaking time and I lost the decant. It was one 3 ml. Might have been five. I know it was uh, not that big of a sample and uh, that's when I was really really young into this stuff. I had no clue what I had and I was very careless and lost it. So let's just say I still remember what it smells like. It's a polarizing fragrance that you're not going to forget anytime soon. It's going to be a lengthy one, guys, because I got three houses. The first house that uh, I have on the uh, table is Dua's Iconic. The second house that I have, unfortunately, <laughs> it's been requested. I got to do it, is Sensual Obsessions. And, of course... The third house that I have is Dapper Fragrances, guys. So, I feel, personally, it's a great fragrance. We have to, we have to, if there's a, a good rendition of it, guys, we have to put it out there. Uh, it, it's just something that people really, really like to, I love the fragrance. I let, I let my wife smell it a few minutes ago. She can't stand it. She's got her, her little nightgown up over her freaking face. She doesn't smoke. She don't like it. So without further ado, let's start off with the Dua version of it all. Let's begin. So Dua, as you can see, is a little darker liquid. I remember the regular Andy Warhol having a darker liquid, but I don't remember it being that dark. Uh, it's definitely darker than the Central Obsessions and the Dapper version of it all, but not near as dark as the Dua. But the first thing you're going to see about the Dua, is I have these on paper, is that the Dua's um, is oily. So the first thing that I got when I took this and I sprayed it on the paper was a big blast of alcohol. That's the first thing that I smelled. I know for a fact the original hat doesn't have an alcohol blast to it whatsoever. It is very, very elegant. Um, the story behind it is that uh, Andy Warhol had left Bond number no. 9. He was actually a formulator for them for a long time. Uh, they fought and argued over who should have rights to the fragrance and couldn't come up with any kind of deal and they just decided to discontinue it. So um, so the Dua version of this pops off, guys. I've already wore Dua. I've already wore Central Obsessions. And I've actually had the dapper quite some time on some paper. So this should give us relatively close uh, to a comparison. So this, this to me is a 7 out of 10 as far as smelling like uh, the original Andy Warhol. There's just something in the Dua version of it all that seems to scream. I'm trying to push the fragrances to the forefront, which is what Dua does a lot of. They like to get that blast out there. I think my boy Troy D said it uh, very well when he said there's just something synthetic in it that is made to make the CI seem like it's a lot more than really what it is. So overall, I give Dua a 7 out of 10. Uh, I know this lasts 12 hours on my skin. I know this has a two hour um, projection to it. And I know that for the most part, it smells pretty close to Andy Warhol's. The thing is, it just tries too hard. That's Dua for you. 
No knock on Dua. I have plenty of Dua um, uh, fragrances, and I absolutely I love Dua when they blend. I think they do great at blending. I think they do great at um, inspirations, as they call them. So, 7 out of 10 for this one. Next one is going to be uh, Central Obsessions version of it all. And I'm here to tell you that I, even though I don't like Kevin Holt, <laughs> I have to say that this was done very, very well. Uh, there is no alcohol blast. Um, this to me is a 9 out of 10. The reason I can't give it a 10 out of 10 is because the performance to me, uh, we all have different skins. I know you're going to hear plenty of other people talk about lasting a little longer on them. I know um, uh, plenty of people who are uh, big time Central Obsessions fans. I can understand why the fragrance, the clone is done real, real well. Um, I've only reviewed two. That's the only one. And this is the very first one that I put on. So as far as how close this comes to the actual original is really, really, really close. Um, however, they did it. They did it. You got to give them props for it. So a nine out of 10 on this guys, because I know it gives me a two uh, hour projection. The only reason I can't give it a 10 out of 10 is because it only lasted roughly seven to eight hours on my skin. I will have to go back and check out my review that I did. I actually did a review of this a long time ago before I fell apart with Kevin, but I, I only remember this lasting seven to eight hours on my skin, um, but natural. So finally, guys, Dapper Fragrances, Travis Gearhart. Now, as you can see, this one's been here a little while, so. Oh, God Almighty. So, uh, this one here has a projection of close to three hours. Um, and I don't know how he did it without, I mean, those guys only gave me two. Dua gave me a little more because I, I know they, they put a little more synthetic. I know he does not use uh, any kind of things to project it. I don't, know, I don't know what the word is for it. I'm not an exact scientist, so... But I know um, Travis is, uh, he's just doing his thing with his clones. He's going to take it, make the scent exactly what it is. He's going to try to replicate it as close to as he can. Uh, this has been on paper 10 hours um, and it's still going. So I am going to assume, and I should be okay to assume it, that this is actually going to last more than 12 hours. The only problem that only problem that I have is I remember the original being a very mellow. It makes me almost, um, when I put the original on, I just felt like I felt encompassed. Uh, I felt like it just wrapped me. Like I could smell it no matter which way I turn and no matter how much I didn't want to smell it, I could smell it no matter what. And I always just put, you know, a spray on each side of the chest I put a spray on the uh, upper shoulders and I put it on my wrist. That's where I put all my sprays. I do that on each side. So everybody that I wear gets that. Um, this is as close to that as you're going to get. Uh, I also give this a 9 out of 10. Um, the reason I cannot give it a 10 out of 10, and this may be the only reason it's a downfall, is because I have not put this on me personally yet. But I felt compelled to do it because I had a lot of people saying, ADB, hey, what about this Dapper brand? What about this, this Travis Gearhart? Can you please, um, a lot of people are very familiar with the central obsessions and with all due respect, you know, I'm just going to keep it real with you guys. I don't keep it any other way. They were the first, uh, cheaper clone house to take Facebook by storm. Uh, it was put out there, um, the only difference between Dapper and Central Obsessions is Travis is really pushing this thing. He's actually contacting the reviewers themselves and saying, hey, here's a list of things I had. Do you mind giving me a try? I don't remember Kevin doing that. I had to chase Kevin down to see if he would give me a, um, 
a sample. Uh, he said he was two weeks behind at the time, but as soon as I offered to buy it, he threw in four more and sent me what I was looking for. So take that as what you want. When I hit Travis up, uh, I, I paid Travis right away. And uh, Travis is like, hey, DB, um, my bottles are delayed. Uh, I, you know, it was going to take a while. I'll just give you your money back. And I said, dude, check this out. I just ordered 50 five ml bottles glass bottles i know they're worthy uh that's what this is in right now <laughs> and uh he refunded my money and sent me my um fragrances uh kind of a swap i really like swapping i think swapping is great so guys um in, in my personal opinion just being unbiased as i possibly can if i was to give something out right now it would be Central Obsessions would win this Andy Warhol battle, but I'm telling you, Dapper is dead on its heels. Like, it's a toss-up to me. Um, if you like Central Obsessions version of it all, you're not missing anything with Dapper's version of it all at all. I actually think Dapper is going to last longer, uh, but it smells. Um, Central Obsessions and Dapper both are very, 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 very close to the original it is absolutely wonderful do a sorry you're gonna have to refine yours a little bit um, i'm not a do a hater i don't hate any uh cologne houses whatsoever i do get down on people who do not tell the truth about their fragrances we won't go there but <laughs> nonetheless guys um i i enjoy andy warhol fragrance whatsoever travis keep it up man yo you're not far from, from taking this thing over, I promise you. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, do it. Your smell is nice. Central Obsessions, you're, you're, you're spot on with it as well. So I can only give it to Central Obsessions. And, it, and it's by it literally an eyelash. Um, and I know for a fact I will wear Dapper's version of it as a standalone at one time. And I will give that full review to give it its own little right. So appreciate you guys sliding by. Thank you guys for uh, your suggestions. Thank you guys for, um, you know, uh, being very communicative uh, with, I hate that word. Thank you for communicating <laughs> and letting me know what you guys want. Uh, this is y'all's channel. I just bring the content to y'all. Uh, whatever else it is you guys decide you want, I'll happily do so. Uh, this battle won't go away anytime soon. I own several Central Obsessions as the same as I do with Dapper and Dua. Um, even some of these I have an Alexandria's version of and also a Babylon Fragrances. So we may just have a five-way battle when it all comes down to it. So appreciate you guys sliding by. Thank you for giving me some time. Thank you. And my scent of the day is um, Hashivat by Nishane. Uh, that review will be later uh, this evening. So you guys get a double Dewey today. Have a good one.